going to talk about power. This is chapter seven of uh, Singer, I believe. And electric power is simple. Any part of a circuit is equal to the current in that part multiplied by the voltage in that part. Nice and easy. P is equal to IE. Anywhere, everywhere, anywhere you want to look. And it all adds up as long as you're talking about true power. Okay? So it's pretty simple. I keep saying that, I think. A variable resistor in the volume control of a record uh, of a code oscillator passes 0.05 amps with a voltage drop of 30 volts. How much power is it consuming or dissipating? Pretty easy. If we have the voltage and we have the current, we multiply them together. So 0.05 times 30, 1.5 watts. Nice and simple. Okay, we know that power total is the total current times the total voltage. We have an example here. Um, we have 2.62 amp lamps, each drawing 120 volts. Uh, now, you'll notice that it doesn't matter that they're in parallel or series. It doesn't matter. Okay? In power, as long as you're staying in true power, it doesn't matter. So, if I1 is equal to I2 and they're both 0.62, what's the power? I'm thinking probably 0.62 times 240. Total voltage is 240. Total current is 0.62. If it's telling us that the uh, voltage is additive, ET is equal to E1 plus E2, what kind of circuit is it? It's a series circuit, right? Voltage drops are additive. If this is parallel, that rule would not be true, right? We know that. Okay. If the same lamps were connected in parallel across 120 volts, find the total power used and the, compare it with the power used when the lamps are connected in series. Let's look at that now. Now our voltage is all going to be the same. It's going to be 120 volts, okay? So our voltage total is equal to 120 volts. Find the total power. Total power in the parallel is the same as the total power in series. Okay, so state the rule for electric power. Electric power in any part of a circuit is equal to the current in that part multiplied. Times, you know what, we're missing part of the slide. Watch this. Across that part of the circuit, see? You see what I'm saying about this program screws up the, the uh, formatting. So part of our slide there disappeared. Is it going to stay? It's going to stay as long as we give it room. Okay, so point 0.2 is gone. <laughs> I like that. Makes for a much shorter lecture that way. Define an, I wonder what that was supposed to be, an electrical watt. You see? A watt of power is the power used when one volt causes one. Got to expand this again to get the rest of the sentence. Amp of current to flow in a circuit. Volt times an amp. Okay. A variable resistor is the volume control of a code oscillator. We, I think we did something like that before. Uh, passes 0.18 amp with a voltage drop of 45 volts. Find the power consumed. 0.41 for each drawing, hmm, am I missing a bunch of stuff? Probably the bottom one. Okay, 2.41 amp lamps, each drawing 110 volts are connected in series. Find the total power used. See if the next slide is gonna work. And it's a totally different one, isn't it? Isn't that special? Okay. 10. That's slide 11. It ought to be that same problem, but it's not. So let's just go back to this, see if we can figure this thing out. 2.41 amp lamps, each drawing 110 volts. Okay. If we multiply 0 0.41 times 110, how much power would we get? 
And then we have two of them doing the same exact thing. So we'd have about 70 watts of power total because we've got two of them doing that. Okay. What is the operating voltage of? Well, I bet there's more to that question. Oh, shoot. Let's see here. Well, let's get this out of here. Okay, is that better? Is that got it? Have we got everything now? Maybe. Let's put that up there. Let's see if we can expand this a little bit. Okay. What's the operating voltage of an electric toaster rated at 600 watts? If it draws five amps. Well, here would we want to go back to our pioneer wheel, right? P over IE, right? So if we have P and we have E, we would divide. No, we have I, sorry. P divided by I will give us E. So our voltage, 600 watts divided by five is. No, 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 no. Oh, six, no, 600, five times these, divided by five is 120. Okay, I can go with that. Find the value of, I bet there's more to this question. Find the value of one, 103 times two. I can't be the whole thing. Okay, uh, squaring powers of 10. Um, that, I don't think this is, oh, this is supposed to be 103 squared, 104 squared. One oh, uh, I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. 10 minus 3 squared. 10 to the minus thirds. Oh, that's supposed to be 10 to the minus third squared, right? Okay, well. This is just working in powers of 10, which is really simple. You've done the homework on this. You understand how to work with this, even though this slide is all messed up. When we're multiplying powers of 10, we can just add or subtract the powers. If we're dividing, we can just reverse the sign when we move it up. Okay. Okay, developing a formula for when P and when uh, I and E are known, I think we can figure that one out. Let me just look at our three by five card and go uh, E times I is P. Okay. Oh, they're developing E squared over R, which we've already done a long time ago. That's okay. Using the exponential power formula, I have no idea what 4K something or other. This uh, notebook program doesn't like symbols. And this is not the symbol that was in my slide presentation. I can guarantee you that. And so let's move on. Square root. This is probably that symbol right there. Um, square root of 16 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. Square root of 5 is 25. And these are called perfect squares. Okay, because a number squared, it's handy to know if you want to go, you know, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared 16, 5 squared 25, 6, 36, 7, 49. Why does everybody hesitate on that? 8, anybody know 8? Huh? 64, okay, so it might be handy to remember that. It might come up because we do occasionally have to use the square root, and if you can see things quickly in your mind, it will help a lot. Oh, I think we're going to, we're just going to keep going. That's what we're going to do. Okay, this slide is no good. That slide is no good. All right, application of exponential power formula. Okay, I think we're going to have P is equal to E squared over R, or we're going to have, I think this is supposed to be, 
I don't know what's supposed to be going on here. Yeah, it's this is supposed to be I squared R. Well, we derived that a long time ago, and we know how to work with it, right? Good. Oh, Lord. All right. What in the heck? I wonder what that's supposed to be. Well, isn't that special? There must be more question here. That's all I can figure. Oh, there we go. Look at that. We can find the question, maybe. I think I tried to tell you that I was trying to straighten this thing out earlier today, and I didn't get it completely straightened out, to say the least. Apparently, it screwed up again when I loaded it into notebook here. Okay, what's the operating voltage of an electric toaster rated at 750 watts if it draws for amps? <laughs> it's a mystery. Oh, boy. We just look at our uh, Pioneer card, I mean our Pioneer wheel, and if we have to use a derived formula, we have amps, but we have amps, we have power, right? We can just divide, right? Okay. Uh, all right. All right. I think that's the end of this presentation. <laughs> Let me, yeah, well, if it's not, it is now. All right. So at least the good news is we're going to have a nice short presentation, and uh, that's what we're going to do on power. I know you've read the chapter. I know you've done well on this, so the slide presentation is nearly not as important, so it's okay.